Tolerance by Cynthia Amoroso About the author Cynthia Amoroso is Director of Curriculum and Instruction for a school district in Minnesota. She enjoys reading, writing, gardening, traveling, and spending time with friends and family. Table of Contents What is Tolerance? Page 4 Tolerance at School Page 6 Tolerance and Your Friends Page 8 Tolerance on the Playground Page 10 Tolerance at Home Page 12 Tolerance in Your Neighborhood Page 14 Tolerance in Newcomers Page 16 Tolerance Toward Younger Kids Page 18 Tolerance Helps Us All Get Along Page 20 Glossary Page 22 Learn More Page 23 Index 24 What is Tolerance? People come in all shapes, sizes, and colors. They have different ways of life. They speak all kinds of languages. They wear their hair in different ways. They eat different kinds of foods. They listen to all kinds of music. Tolerance is accepting differences in other people. It is thinking, it's okay that you are different than me. Learning from our differences can be fun. Tolerance at school. Maybe your class is having a discussion. The teacher asks all of you to share your ideas. One student has an idea that is different from yours. You show tolerance by listening to the idea. You understand that more than one idea can be worthwhile. We can learn from other people's ideas. Tolerance and your friends. One of your friends does not speak English well. Everyone around her is talking fast. She does not understand what they are saying. You show tolerance by helping her understand. You explain what they are saying. You do not make fun of her for needing your help. Differences can make our lives more interesting. Tolerance on the playground. Some kids in your class might not have many friends. They might act differently from other kids. On the playground, nobody asks them to play. You can see that they feel left out. You show tolerance by asking them to play. You and your friends make them feel welcome. Tolerance opens the way to new friendships. Tolerance at home. You and your brother like to watch TV. You like to watch cartoons. Your brother likes nature shows. You show tolerance by letting your brother watch his show. The next day, he shows tolerance by letting you watch cartoons. Tolerance means accepting that people like different things. Tolerance in your neighborhood. You and your family go to church in town. You have beliefs about many things. Your neighbors do not go to church. They have different beliefs from yours. You show tolerance for their ideas. You accept that they believe different things. Tolerance means respecting other people's beliefs. Tolerance in newcomers. You have lived in your neighborhood for a long time. One day, a new family moves in. They speak and dress differently. They cook different foods. You show tolerance by making them feel welcome. You try to learn about how they do things. Maybe your new neighbors will become your new friends. Tolerance toward younger kids. Maybe you have a little sister. She always wants to tag along. She wants to go everywhere you go. She wants to do everything you do but she is too little to do some things. She does not know as much as you either. Sometimes she seems like a pest, but you show tolerance by being nice to her. 
you understand that she is just young. Being tolerant toward your sister is more fun than being mad. Tolerance helps us all get along. Showing tolerance makes the world around us much friendlier. If you are tolerant, we can be okay with our differences. We can try to understand one another. We can learn from one another. We can work together. We can have fun together. Tolerance makes life more fun.